friends, welcome back and happy new year to you. I'm so excited to be filming and I'm so excited to be working again. I just took a little short break from filming in the last 10 days because my family was here in London. Layla, her boyfriend, my parents, Alex's mom. So it was really exciting and fun. We went out a lot and just spent really good quality time together. But I didn't really work for 10, well, I worked a little bit, but I didn't film for 10 days. So I'm super happy and excited to be back filming. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you my December favorites. I actually don't have a lot of products today, which is funny because I think most people do their shopping in December and January. That's when most businesses sell most of their stuff <laughs> is December. For me, I actually don't do a lot of shopping in December and January. And the reason to that is I don't like when there's so many people in the stores and everyone is like pushing each other and you have to wait in the lineup to try something on. And if you try to buy things online, everything is sold out. If it's small size, anyways. <laughs> to make the long story short, I just have a few very cool items that I've been using or that I discovered last month and let's begin let's stop chatting and just get into it now the first favorite of the month is this really beautiful warm cozy what is this you might be thinking is this a blanket I know it kind of looks like a blanket and that's the point because when it's cold you want something really nice and cozy around your neck so this is my favorite scarf of the month I got this when I was in Canada last time which was about a month ago yeah I just got this at J Crew. if you watched my color analysis video if you haven't make sure to watch it because you want to know what your colors are I'm gonna link it here and down below you will know that I'm a winter and if you're a winter, this is our perfect green. It's sort of like an emerald green. I don't know if the camera is gonna read it the same way it is in reality, but it's a beautiful saturated bright green color. It's not too warm because that would make it spring. It's like the perfect shade of green for winter season. So yeah, um, this scarf has been amazing. It's been quite cold here in London in the last month. So whenever I'm freezing, I just grab this and then I pretty much open it and I use it as a blanket in the office sometimes when I'm cold. I just wrap myself like that oh and it feels so good you just want to take a nap so yeah love the scarf Another one of my favorites is actually not a December day favorite. This is more like an annual favorite because I've been using this app pretty much for all of last year and it's called Audible and it's pretty much an app with audiobooks and Alex actually introduced me to it because he loves listening to books. At first I was a bit hesitant because I personally love a nice physical book and actually smell of the book and holding it in my hands and I feel like I grasp the information better if I have a physical book in front of me. However, I have just started using this more and more and I can go through a lot of information and it's just useful because you spend a lot of time if you're a girl doing your hair and doing your makeup and like cleaning cooking washing the dishes so now when I do all of those chores I guess putting the makeup is not really a chore but anyways you know what I mean it's like a luxury <laughs> anyways when I do all of these things now I just have a book on so for example right now I'm listening to Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography and it's been amazing it's actually 24 hour long I'm on hour 18 and yeah I've been really enjoying it I've got a whole bunch of other books on there and I pretty much listen to this app every single day so I would say Instagram is my number one app and this is my second favorite app on my phone Another favorite annual app that I want to mention to you guys, and this is something that I probably mentioned in some of my other videos. I've been telling you guys that I do a really short workout pretty much every single morning. Me and Alex alternate from doing yoga in the morning to doing the seven minute workout. And you guys have been asking me what it is. So today I'm gonna to tell you what the app is. One second. I actually don't have it on my phone because Alex has it on his phone. It costs $1.50, actually it costs pound 50 here. You can get these ones for free. There's many different ones that are called seven minute workout. I'll link the one that I have down below, but it's called Seven Minute Workout by Tiny Hearts Limited. And the reason me and Alex like this particular app and we use this one is because it will show you how to do the actual exercise. Cause some of them will just tell you, oh, do push-ups, and then it will set a timer and then you'll start doing the workout. This one actually shows you pictures on how to do. So pretty much, okay, I have to explain how the whole concept works. So it's a really quick seven minute intense workout and they will be like, start doing push-ups and you do push-ups and then it will be like um, maybe a bit less than one minute and you'll be able to do like 15 in that time and then they'll be like rest and they'll give you five seconds for that and then now do sit-ups or like different kind of exercises or lunges really good intense exercises that get your heart pumping you know it's not gonna get you bulky or big but it's gonna get your heart rate up and it's just gonna give you an overall sense of well-being and you just keep active it's really good for your heart and you know I have a bit of definitions everywhere on my body without actually spending a lot of time working out anyway so this app is something me and Alex use a few times a week. 
Another one of my favorites here, and it looks kind of funny in a little pouch. What is this, Mimi? This is actually a lavender. It's not really a lavender tea. This is dried lavender, but you can make tea out of it. I got this when we're in Italy recently, and I just, it was like um, a little market, and I started browsing, and I found this, and I thought I should buy it because I just love the smell of lavender. You can do so many things with it. But I thought, why not steep it in a tea actually? And I've been truly enjoying just steeping a little teaspoon every single day with hot water. Sometimes what I'll do is I will actually steep it with some chamomile tea and it's absolutely delicious. It's got calming effect in it. I'm sure you guys have heard about it, you know, lavender oil. If you just put a little bit here or around your nose, it can really soothe your nerves and calm your nerves. Let's say you have an exam or, you know, you have insomnia or you're really excited or you wanna go to sleep, but you can't go to sleep because you're over hyper. You wanna use lavender. I drink at least, one, well, not a at least but I drink about one sometimes two cups of this every single day I really enjoy just the taste and the way I feel after I drink this tea Another one of my December favorites is actually my iPhone case from Nunuko Design Company. It just says NDC here at the bottom. And this case is a beautiful reminder of how much I love to travel. It's got little airplanes flying and one says Los Angeles, London, Milan, New York, all of my favorite cities. And yeah, I really love this case because it's quite unique. I discovered this company on Instagram a while ago, actually in the summer, and I had a case from them. I eventually broke it and then I didn't repurchase any new cases because I thought I'll get iPhone 6, but now that I decided to keep this one I thought I need a new case so I got this case and I've been loving this so you know how I said I don't really shop in December well clearly I do shop some because I got these jeans this month and these were actually on sale and these are from seven for all mankind I love this brand of jeans because they fit fit me fit me really nice and I love these jeans because a super comfortable stretchy two they look like they're leather so they got a really nice sheen to it and I just love how you can really dress them up for the evening or just wear them for the day super nice been looking for this kind of pair for a really long time and most of them have a really thick fabric so if you find similar type of jeans with a sheen they have a really thick uncomfortable fabric but these ones are soft and stretchy and I've been loving wearing them and in case you were wondering I wear size 24 Although I've tried a few other pairs in the store and I couldn't fit in 24 So I guess every jean is a bit different depending on how much stretch it has. So this one I'm 24 because it's been really cold here in London in the last few weeks actually I'm not gonna complain because when I say really cold it's like plus 7 degrees Celsius so that's really not that cold compared to say Canada or New York right now I heard it's snowing there anyway so because it's been a bit colder here in London I've been wearing a lot of sweaters and my go-to sweater this year was this beautiful crop top sweater from Topshop I worn this I think in one of my uh, videos I think yeah anyways you guys probably seen this on me a lot because I've been wearing it a lot and I like that it's cropped up because it really goes nice with the high-waisted jeans or skirts or pretty much anything it doesn't feel too bulky the fact that it's cropped makes it still very light and warm at the same time so yeah love this favorite book of December is this book by Seth Godin and it's called what to do when it's your turn and it's always your turn this is a very interesting book because it's not an <clears throat> What's with my voice today? I'm just like losing it. Anyway, so it's not a book where you have a lot of text So it's like pictures and then little short stories or points But I'll quickly tell you a bit of story about the cover of the book So this lady this picture has been taken over a hundred years ago And this is Kenny from England and Kenny was a mill worker when she was in her 20s She asked for the right to vote from the parliament and she was refused and thrown into jail Although this incident happened that created a movement and eventually a woman were given a right to vote so pretty much this book is about not starting movements but starting movements in your own life looking at everything you do as art this book has so many incredible messages I don't think I can even do justice by giving it a summary I'll just say that I've been truly enjoying reading it and it's got so many powerful moving messages about living your life to the fullest so get yourself a copy <laughs> And the last favorite of December is my favorite hat that's been keeping me warm and cozy this holiday season and in this winter. And it's this huge, ginormous globe hat, or some people call it pom-pom hat. It's beautiful and purple. I wore this in my London vlog video, and you guys have been asking me about it. I got this at the store called Uniqlo. I don't usually shop in that store because I find their things a bit too plain for my taste. But Alex was shopping there. They have really great stuff for men. And I was browsing since I was there, and I found this beautiful beautiful hat with big pom-poms. I know they have this also in black and white, I think, in a few other variations. So if you're lucky, they might still have them there. 
and that is it for my December favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you. So let me know what's your December favorite down below. Leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys and I'll see you soon next week. Ciao.